Hello everyone. Open up the mic area for ya. Alright. How's it going? Um it's really hot here. The AC doesn't really work. It kind of works, but they turn it 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 was fixed today, so it's still hot. But it's cooler. Anyways. Tonight, I finally uploaded a video from when I went to Seattle to go see Rowan. It's actually from like forever ago. A couple weeks, maybe. And I'm also uploading two other and new videos. One right now, this one's going to be about um, an altar box to go. I don't know if we've shown you one before or not, but it's really handy. It could fit in your car. It does not fit in your purse, unfortunately, but I'm sure you can make a mini version. And also, I will be posting a video of a mini, um, full moon blessing, I guess, ritual. Really simple, we've done it before, something similar, when we blast, consecrate, and empower something, um, tools of the craft that we use, and then I'll be setting it out tonight so it can capture the last night of the full moon, because uh, it kind of didn't sleep a couple days, so I just went to bed. <laughs> Anyways, on to today's video. Um, this is the little, you know, I'll just bring it up. Since I don't have a camera woman, she's lying down. It's a very heavy box. Well, not very heavy, but it's very heavy. Okay, she'll hold it. And... You have to you have to listen to my guidance. My fingers. There we go. There we go. There we go. Awesome. Okay. So this is my fun little altar box. Very pretty. Given to us by Taylor, I do believe. See, it's not taller than the palm of my hand, and it's just barely wider than that. Yeah. Alrighty. And I think if you have a thin enough lock. You could put one through, but I don't have one that tiny. So, what's excellent is that I can put a whole bunch of things in here. The main parts of an altar. It's got this in cave top here. here. And that's the full one that you see. I'm empty it. Here. Just a moment. Or two. My camera woman is shirtless, so it's very distracting. Now she's embarrassed. Anyways. So this is the box empty, and these are all the lovely items. Oh, whoops, I think I touched the mic. Anyways. Can you, can you see it? No? These are all the lovely items. I'm not sure if it's visible or not. But in this area, there are three candles. They're really pretty. I am. Um, I've blessed and consecrated these before, and I set in some stones. Found them at a garage sale. Really lucky. Ready? And I just put those in there. This is my tarot deck, all wrapped up in its pretty cloth, and the cloth dubs as an altar cloth, so I can even use the box as an altar. It kind of fits my cards, not much else. That's what that little stool is for. And what's inside the box um, is actually, oh whoops, touched my hand. What's inside the box is ground up lavender and rose petals and a little bit of charred lavender and rose petals because it was inside their little salsa dish that I burnt them in. Anyways, this is my candle holder because these sticks do not hold by themselves. I just melted some wax and they stay in. What do you see? Okay. Ah! And it's very, very convenient. It's pretty awesome. It goes in last, actually. Alright, and here's my mortar and pestle. Or, well, my mortar and pestle set. And it's really beautiful. It's got a goddess symbol, and I got the Renaissance fair I showed you before. It's pretty excellent. And I just put that in there. Both of them. And in this little pouch here, I can't really show you because I'm at an odd angle holding the camera, but it has. Um, my pen, my amethyst pendulum, 
uh, purple agate that is actually the stone with my cards, and two unpolished uh, amethyst stones. You saw them earlier, possibly on Facebook or Tumblr or something. Hopefully, you saw them earlier. This is kind of my kind of my athame. It's got some phallic-y mating symbols on it. There's a stag and there's a doe on it. It's really cool. Uh, slightly phallic. But, um, I have a sword at home. So, and I use this for more mundane activities. But this is, um, I think it was part of in the earlier video. But this has been blessed. Um, I wanted to show you guys a, a video of it, but I kind of forgot it what it was and how to do it. But I had the new crystals that I got that day. Here. <laughs> I got the new crystals that I had that day and a dragon's wood cone incense that I got that day. And um, dragon's wood's used for protection a lot. So what I did was I burned the cone all the way through and I spread the ashes on that athame-ish thing. Dagger. And I had the cones around it. I let it sit in the sun for happiness and enjoyment and in protection most of all, because I was in downtown Seattle and it's quite frightening. And I didn't have to use it, thank God. But yeah. So I'm just gonna put that in my little box. On the side. Those, those, those go over here. There we go. Okay. Okay. I'll put those right here. What am I missing? Oh, my tarot cards, which I'm holding. Sorry. Okay. And I also have this little turtle. It's adorable. It's a stone figurine. It's amazing. And um, my girlfriend got it for me when she went to Hawaii. And it's a perfect water symbol. And it's so adorable. I mean, look at it. It's And it's so tiny. It fits in the box and on top of the box, too. So I use that for my water symbol. So I got fire and water. And... The earth, I would, um, what did I use last time? Oh, I'm holding it. <laughs> this little tree, it's, um, I do believe this is a lava rock, and I don't know what kind of stones these are. I was told, but they look like Dalmatian, so I'm going to call them Dalmatian stones, because they look like it. They have polka dots. But my friend Echo made these for me. He's a really cool guy, and it's an awesome earth symbol. I mean, for goodness sakes, it's a tree made out of stones and some kind of metal. Really awesome wire wrap, by the way. Alright, so your earth. Oh, and I do have feathers. I also have, like, a little fairy that I use for air and melter, but these feathers came from my, my, little, my little fan. It's adorable. It's cheap. It's like a dollar. And my candle holder, as I showed before goes in here. Just kind of figure out how to get it in there without bending the tree. This should go here. Okay, so it's not what it looked like before. Exactly. But yeah, so it all kind of just sets in there. And then I'm able to close it and take it on my way. And if you need um, goddess and god representations, you can use really small ones. You can also, if you're packing it on the go really quick, you can, if you have a previous spell made up, just fold up a piece of paper and put it in there really easy. I do have a chalice, but that doesn't, it could fit in the box if very other, a few other things were in there. But um, I actually think I tried to fit it on top, but it would bend the tree. So, plus I usually don't use chalices and simple rituals. So, yeah, and there's that. There is your altar box on the go. If you have a purse, you can either create a Ziploc baggie or create, make, and sew together. Believe it or not, people still do that. Sew together a little bag to carry all your things in there, separate from your purse and or your backpack, or your side bag, or your laptop bag, whatever. And there you go. There's my little box. It's awesome. It's full of my friends. And my love, of my laugh, who's now sleeping. Kind of. Just slightly awake. 
Oh, goodness. Very heavy box. So, if you do get a box, make sure it has a handle and a lock. Those are nice. Anyways, that's all for this video, and I will see you in just a moment, hopefully. So, leave your comments, any suggestions, of course. Um, our Facebook and social networking is not really active. We have no idea if Rowan's actually checking his emails or not. I check mine occasionally, and I delete it all like at once, so I might have skipped over yours if you sent me one, but then again, I don't think you know my email address. It's pretty personal, so... Anyways, off to make the next video. See you soon. Plus it be.